How you doing, Gemini? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, subscribe, and comment. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Gemini, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a direct message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Beautiful energy here for you. Right now you have multiple offerings coming your way. You have the Seven of Cups and the King of Cups, letting you know that you are going to have to choose, right? And the path of least resistance is the way to go. And right now your guides are telling you that you're gonna have multiple offerings, all bringing something different to the table and all have different value. And you gotta ask yourself, like what is on your topic? your priorities list. So for example, you may meet someone and they may have a really good job and they may have financial stability, but the romantic energy may not be there. Or you may meet someone and they are, you know, someone who makes you laugh and really brings a lot of excitement into your life, but you know, you don't feel that security from them. And right now, you really got to ask yourself, what is the number one thing on your priorities? Because when you know, you can tell your angels and guides and then they can actually bring you exactly who it is you're looking for. Like for example, when I met my wife, Alicia, I already had a clear and concise image of what my priorities were. I wanted to meet someone who was a beautiful girl, short hair. I knew exactly what I wanted, right? And I wanted her to be a tomboy who loved animals, who had a heart of gold. I could care less if she, you know, uh, had a ton of money or I could care less if she was tall or this or this or things that I didn't care about. I cared about the girl that I always wanted, the girl of my dreams. And I got exactly what I'm looking for. Anyone who knows my wife, Alicia, knows that's exactly who she is. Is beautiful tomboy, golden heart, and uh, just you, you, you just uh, slides up the sky, right, with her smile. And right now, you got to know what you're looking for, Gemini. So at the end of the day, let spirit know, and spirit will deliver for you. Now you got the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So abundance, abundance, abundance. Right now, that is the the word for you, right? Like you got so many good things going financially. I see a new energy of abundance in the sense that there's a career opportunity about to present itself, something you waited for for quite some time, something that's going to open up a lot of doors for you. For example, maybe it's that promotion you've always wanted, or maybe it's that side hustle that you're thinking of turning into a, a side hustle, turn into a business. But I do see here the energy changing for your career and your business. I do see here a lot of new energy entering your life. So during this time frame, it's time to start saying no to good and start saying yes to great, which really means know your worth, know your value, instill those excellent habits to match your emotions to your expectations so when this happens you're not like oh you know I'm, I'm so surprised but more like of course I was going to get that opportunity of course I'm going to get this promotion of course I'm going to get this start this business why wouldn't I not only is it your birthright but you command assume expect like attracts like law of attraction then it will come now you also got the ten of swords and look at that next to the eight of swords so I see here that some of you may be dealing with some sort of depression, some sort of anxiety, some sort of energy that's more lower dimensional, lower frequency. And that's only because we're harboring a lot of shadows, a lot of inner demons, a lot of uh, energetic roadblocks here. And we all go through this energy. And right now, if there's nothing wrong with your current situation, Gemini, it's just a it's just a moment, a glimpse in your life, right? Just a moment in your life. And you can clear this energy with a snap of a finger. That's the beautiful part. Energy is never created, never, it's never destroyed. It has to get moved. So literally like electrical current, like how quickly uh, lightning strikes, like with a snap of a finger within a millisecond, you can clear this energy. You just gotta know how to do it. And you just gotta tell yourself, what is it that I'm feeling? Why do I feel like this? And how can I move on? Now, what does that really mean? Sometimes you ever notice like you're going for a walk or you're watching a sunset or you're watching a movie or you're having a conversation where you should be present in the moment but something is off. You're just like, why am I not happy? What is wrong? That's because of these shadows, right? So these shadows make their way into our life when we least expect it. So what do we want to do? Address these shadows on our own time. We don't want them to just, you know, when we're having a beautiful hallmark moment, all of a sudden to feel like something's wrong. Okay, how do you address them? always looking with it. Every time we're looking outwards, you know, looking on social media, blogs, trying to get advice, it's great and all, but you're looking outwards, you're never gonna address the shadow. So you look inwards. What does this mean? Close your eyes, stop thinking. Don't try to think of the shadow. Don't try to problem solve and figure out your problems. No, you have to put yourself in a state where then the shadow will work its way out. It's almost like, you know, like when it rains, the worms come up, it's almost like that. So you gotta stop thinking. When you stop thinking, all of a sudden, 
The shadow will make its way in your life. Oh, you'll never be rich. Oh, no one's ever going to love you. Blah, blah, blah. Every single thing your ego says, my ego says, it's always pathetic, right? So never, ever, ever listen to it. That's why I know your ego saying the same thing. You're fat, you're ugly, you're old, blah, blah, blah. Sure we are. We're actually the best, okay? Remember that, Gemini. So when the shadow makes its way into your life, what we usually do is bury the shadow. We're like, oh, so scary, not thinking about it. And we just bury it deeper and deeper and like a zombie, it just makes its way up. So when this happens, actually interview your shadow. Just have your shadow sit down and be like, okay, listen, we're never gonna be rich. Okay, tell me why. Oh, well, uh, we don't know what to do. Okay, well, there's millions, if not billions of people on planet Earth that didn't know what to do and then they started businesses or worked for people and got rich. What makes us so differently? Do you see where I'm going with this? Have an interview with your shadow and then you will clear the way. And when you clear the way, now you're back in alignment. Now you're flowing. Now everything's effortless. Now you're not weighing all the, wearing the weighted vest of the shadow, but instead, now you're just swimming downstream, right? And that's what we're looking for. And you have a lot of beautiful energy awaiting you. Now you also got cat spirit, claim your independence. So this is a time for a lot of you to really start thinking of what you can do to regain your confidence and regain your confidence, claiming your independence is nothing more than knowledge. That's what confidence is. If you want to be confident in your, you know, physically to make sure you can protect yourself, just study some martial arts, right? If you want to be confident in business, market research, due diligence. If you want to be confident in romance, study the human psyche, right? So it's very straightforward stuff, but though that, you know, in order to be confident, all you need is knowledge. And knowledge is nothing more than experiences, right? So you read a book, you gain someone's experience. Right now, this is a time to invest in yourself and good things will come. Now, very interesting. So you got the four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. So right now your angels are telling you, that there's something financially you're holding on to that's keeping you in the familiar past and you're worried about something going wrong in the predictable future, but it's siphoning energy away from the present moment. And this is something financial. And unless you let this energy go, you won't be able to move on. So for example, imagine you have a job you go to and imagine this job is not something you like, right? You go to it, you're like, ah, oh, I can't stand, I don't wanna be here, the energy is hostile and I don't get paid enough. But you're holding on to the fact that I will not find another job so I should settle. But if you let go of that energy and you tell yourself, listen, I can find another job. I will be able to find another job when I let go of this. And remember, if someone's trying to hand you gold, you got to let go of garbage. Let go to receive. So right now, Spirit is telling you to understand it's a choice what we're doing. Understand that when you let go, you will receive. And understand your angels and guides have your back. So whatever this decision is, you got to see these signs for what they truly are. And they have been leaving you a lot of signs. And they have been trying to speak to you and letting you know not to focus on the outcome, but the process. So what's the next micro step, for example, that you can take in this situation? If some of you may feel like you are trapped, you are not trapped. It's just perspective and it's time to let go. And you also got the four, five, and six. Look at this, right? You got four, five, and six here, which really lets you know that there is something a major energetic roadblock that you're having a hard time breaking through. And this energetic roadblock is a breakthrough. Like once you get through this hurdle, let's just say it's smooth sailing, but it's just like, it's almost like a gate, right? You're having a hard time getting through this. And this energetic roadblock, Spirit is telling you that rather than look at what can go wrong, think about it from the perspective of what can go right and when it does go right and how good it's going to be. So for example, imagine you're telling yourself, oh, you know, I am never going to find my soulmate. But instead of telling yourself, I will never find my soulmate, tell yourself, it's going to be amazing when I find my soulmate. When I'm with my soulmate, we're going to take over. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have so much fun and all the beautiful things we're going to do together. So really give your body a taste of the future and not be left with the memory of the past. All right, so I am going to pull a direct message for you right now, Gemini. So universe message for Gemini, message for Gemini right now. Let's see, I'm going to get a direct message. Oh, let's do one more shuffle to make it extra good. And let's see, what does the universe want you to know right now? Whoa, whoa, so this one was flying out. You know, when the cards fly out, the message is there. So right now, the universe says, trust your own understanding. Very, very interesting. Trust your own understanding. So let's find out exactly what the universe is talking about. That's number 32. Trust your own understanding. Right now the universe says, the information you are receiving is reliable and accurate. Look deeply into the situation before making any commitments. You have the foresight and ability to discern that there is more here than meets the eye. Everything will be revealed in the appropriate time. Don't feel the need to prove yourself. Be patient and allow things to unfold as they will. Trust in your own observations and knowledge. 
they hold your truth. So deep down inside, your instincts, right? Your angels, your guides, they are trying to guide you. But the more you feel what you do in your current situation, the easier it's gonna be. So don't think of what's analytical, realistical, practical. If I would have done that, I'd still be working my retail jobs, you know, where I live. But instead, I felt that I wanted to make passive income. So now we got Airbnb businesses, Amazon businesses. And right now, this is a time for you to be feeling what to do rather than thinking what to do. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, chat soon.